Hi Cancer, welcome to your November 2022 Tarot Monthly. I hope you guys are all doing great out there. In today's reading, I am gonna get a little bit nosy. I'm gonna look at your love life, career, finances, spiritual guidance, all in one video. That's how I do the monthlies. I'll be doing your love reading next week. I will be pulling a 10 card spread using the Tarot of Dragons for all the Tarot Deck collectors out there, clarifying with my Mystical Cats Tarot Deck and closing out your read with a Whispers of the Ocean Oracle. All details about the decks I use are always in the description box below the videos. Now I've already pre-shuffled behind the scenes, I'm just going to give it a few more goes and we will begin, Cancer. Spirit, please connect me to Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements for the entire month of November. 2022. What do we have for them, please? Oh, crap. I keep forgetting to introduce my channel. Welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. Happy to have you. Cancer. What do we have for Cancer this month? Two more shuffles. One, two. Let's rock this deck for my adorable Krabby Patties. First card out we have is the Page of Pentacles. Earth energy coming through. Next card out is the star, major for Aquarius. Nice start, Cancer, I like it. The king of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Some of you could be Cancer, Leo, Cuspers. The hermit, major kind of a Virgo. A lot of great energy coming through here, Cancer. I like it a lot. The king of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Hanged Man, Major Arcana for Pisces. The Death Card, Major for Scorpio. A lot of Major Arcana's Cancer. This is big. Justice, another Major Arcana. And now I'm about to lose my voice while I'm holding the Justice card. Someone may not have been honest with you, Cancer, or hasn't been speaking to you their truth. All right, something about their throat chakra showing up in this reading today. Interesting. And the Queen of Wands is your advice. And now we have a perfect pair. Some of you guys are connecting with a fire sign strongly. Possibly an Aries, but I'm also getting Leo and Sagittarius. Okay? But if that's not the case, something about someone's confidence this month is going to be illuminated big time. But it feels good. It feels really good. The potential challenge this month? The Five of Cups. Scorpionic energy. Overall energy on the bottom? The Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. And then I got the King of Cups, Three of Cups, whoa. Some of you guys are having a reunion with someone that misses the crap out of you for real. With the Five of Cups being in the challenge position, and if that's not the case, <clears throat> If there's nobody here that you're thinking about, that you're feeling sad about, or you feel would be sad about you, this could be an indication that somebody here in the month of November is having trouble being honest about something and it pertains to their emotions for another person, okay? I don't want this to be a you know focus on love read. I want to get into your career and finances as well, but I can't help the message that's coming through. There's some sort of get together with you and another person this month, whether it's an invitation out or someone saying, hey, Cancer, we haven't talked in a while. How have you been? Or are you doing this to another? There could be a friend of yours right now that wants to take the friendship to the next level, Three of Cups. Um, but... It, it feels good. It feels good with that King and Queen of Cups. And when I get a strong suit like the King and Queen of Cups, that's an automatic soulmate connection. And you've got two. You've got two pairs. The King and Queen of Wands and the King and Queen of Cups. So maybe you and another person, Cancer, have deep love for each other. But maybe one of you or both of you were struggling with your confidence in expressing those feelings. Right? Because the King of Swords came up in your love position with the Hanged Man someone struggling with speaking their truth because if you look closely cancer that rock shows an indentation of a sword but there's no physical sword there right and if you look at this justice card that dragon is holding its foot on top of a sword so somebody was protecting the truth someone was protect protecting their um feelings wasn't expressing themselves. I'll do my best to figure out if it was you, Cancer, or your person, or the both of you. But I do feel like a connection has been on time out because of this with that hangman energy. It's been on time out, for real. 
and there needs to be some big changes here okay otherwise this could end up being one of those missed opportunities that people hold on to for a long time for pentacles and always think back on and think of the would have could have should have i should have done this i should have done that why didn't i say this why didn't i say that i could have stopped this person from leaving my life things like that five of cups to the four of pentacles okay but in regards to your career there's a big change happening with that dev card whether it's you leaving a job that is no longer fulfilling you or you're getting an opportunity to transition in a way that's going to bring you some more stability with that page of pentacles coming up as your current energy right the page of pentacles to me is a promotion it's a job opportunity maybe in a different company it's you know you getting a pay raise or finding a different way to make more money with that page of pentacles maybe you're you're doing a little side hustle to bring in some extra loose change and you're realizing that is it's really good for you it's bringing you more um, of a transformation internally than you thought maybe you started something for the money and then you're learning more about yourself throughout the process okay so it's giving you more rewards than you thought you were going to get. And with the Hermit being what Spirit wants you to focus on this month, they are wanting you to do some work internally. All right. The Hermit is all about investigating the truth, right? Finding your own voice, finding your own hidden truth that maybe you didn't even know that you were suppressing. Maybe you're the one that has been keeping your feelings for somebody hidden because you were scared to be rejected or you were scared that they, you know, were just unrequited or maybe just taking a connection to the next level was leaving you feeling like, whoa, this is it. This could be where, you know, I say goodbye to, you know, dating other people. Maybe you were non-committal to somebody, right? But with the star coming in as your influence to the month of November, they're showing me that you have a lot to look forward to. You're in manifestation mode. So be mindful of the thoughts that you have right now, Cancer, because you can manifest the bad thoughts and the good thoughts. So definitely try to focus on good, right? I mean, we can't help when a negative thought pops up in our head, but we can definitely control how long we give it attention, right? And with that King of Wands surrounding that star, you have the power to really take really strong actions this month that could lead to a lot of success in your life with that king of wands you're being influenced by um, a lot of solar plexus energy which is connecting connecting i can't talk connecting to new beginnings a new vitality innovations you know feeling alive again if you felt like the last few months have been a little bit blah a little bit dormant right as we move into winter when winter time is a season of things staying dormant as things go through regeneration all right i feel like spirit really wants you to take winter this time around and do the opposite not leave anything dormant but when i'm looking at this queen of cups and it shows me that dragon formation coming out of a cup tells me that someone's getting ready to pour out emotions that had been dormant okay so i'm going to start clarifying but all in all i see possibly some travel for you king of pentacles to the chariot maybe traveling a lot for work or something you do for work involves a lot of vehicles getting in and out of vehicles whether you drive for doordash amazon or you are a realtor or you just do something where you're always like hopping in your car to go to a vendor or a client all right maybe you go to people's homes and you work there maybe you do like Maybe you're a hairstylist that goes to people's homes and you do their hair. All right, something about movement. Can I get a card on that Five of Cups in Cancer's Challenge, please? Can I get a card on the Five of Cups? And that's Scorpio energy. Someone's suffering a loss during Scorpio season or feeling like they're about to regret not doing something if they don't take some serious action now. Why the Five of Cups? The Page of Cups. Innocence. Crush you know, open, opening up your heart in a baby step. So if you've been connecting with someone that's been very emotionally closed off with the King of Swords, they're wanting to take a baby step, all right? To give just a little bit to see how that works out. Test the waters with that Page of Cups showing me a kitten coming out of the shore, right? Eight of Wands, this person could live at a distance from you. Maybe there has been a block in communication because I'm still clarifying the challenge position. And when the card is in the challenge position, I read the energy in reverse. 
So the Eight of Wands in reverse is a block in communication. Maybe you blocked this person's number because they weren't telling you what you wanted to hear or they blocked you because you were not giving them the, the expression that they were hoping for. Someone here wasn't opening up and it, it pissed off another person it feels like or left something being on a perpetual time out with that hanged man. It's the energy of, is this ever moving anywhere? Or are we just going to be wasting each other's time? Ten of Cups. What is this Page of Pentacles about for Cancer in November? There's just a lot of cups coming through this reading. I didn't intend for it to be a love reading. I'm sorry, Cancer. What is this Page of Pentacles? Seven of Swords. Okay. Someone here may be acting foolish with their money. Okay, spending too much, whether it's on another person, whether it's, you know, <sighs> yeah, that's the message I'm getting. For some of you Cancers, you might have someone that's asking you for money or you're spending too much money on, on somebody else in hope of something, you know, benefiting you. All right, don't buy someone something expecting love in return, okay? I don't know who needed to hear that, but I'm strongly getting a cancer that might be too generous with their gift giving, or that could be the other way around. Someone that you were connecting to thought getting you a lot of gifts, you know, being generous with their attention and love was going to get you to open up and tell them how you felt. That, that's for somebody here. I do have the strength card and the queen of wands coming through, so heavy Leo energy. But if don't be don't be buying people's love and attention, or that could be for the cross watcher because it doesn't work. It might work at the moment where you get some praise and thanks, but it's not going to change someone's feelings. All right. What is a star card? Just as I open up, I see the star card. Okay, with the strength card right next to it, and you do see Leo the Lion right here. So I'm strongly getting a Cancer Leo Cusper here. Okay, or something took place during Leo season that is playing out in Scorpio season. I've been getting that a lot for people. Can I get a card on this star? Maybe you, you started a new job opportunity in Leo season um, and it's starting to finally get momentum. Nine of Wands, King of Swords. You have gone through a lot of lessons, Cancer. The King of Swords to the Nine of Wands is telling me that you have gone through a lot of lessons, whether in your career, your personal life, um, but you have learned a lot about yourself and a lot. you learned a lot about other people too, King of Swords, and it's toughened you up. It's definitely put a tough exterior around your Krabby Patty heart. As you see, this King of Swords is all about you know, that sword energy, right? Picture a crab, you know, that sword energy could represent your shell. And we all know that inside of that shell is a lovey-dovey, you know, Cancerian that just is so warm-hearted and you're just so full of love. You're always wanting to be there for everybody else. And sometimes you're not feeling like it's being reciprocated, okay? But I feel like the lesson that you're learning moving forward is not to give love to expect love to just give love because you want to be that loving person. And if people aren't matching your energy, we, we can't expect people to do what we do, right? And if you are expecting people to give back what you're giving them, that's telling me that your love for them was very conditional, conditional on what they do for you or vice versa. And that's not fair. That's not how things go. And I'm strongly gang with that page of Pentacles to the seven of swords, either your person or you thought by being overly generous and overly giving, whether of time, resources, money, gifts, thought it was going to lead to you know an outpour of emotions or a commitment, and it's not working out that way. And that could be a lesson. That could be a strong lesson for you. Um, what is this King of Wands? What is this King of Wands, please, for Cancer in November? The Devil and the Four Swords. And that Strength card is like stalking your reading. Someone's really holding back. Someone is being quiet right now and it's because there's something going on in their life that you may not understand. Because the devil to the four of swords is telling me that you may be connecting with someone that is trying their best to release toxic people from their life or to you know, release their own shadow stuff and work on their own healing. Or there is, you know, there's some sort of codependency around your person or you that is being worked through right now and someone's needing this time and space to just focus on their own well-being. 
all right? So it's not like someone is being quiet to punish you, it's just someone's got a lot going on and they don't want to explain themselves. And then there's the Queen of Wands and the Strength card. And I'm clarifying the King of Wands. <clears throat> so someone is not ready to be vulnerable right now. What is this Hermit for Cancer, please? Why is this Hermit here for Cancer? What is this Hermit here for Cancer? The Strength card, you guys, this freaking card is stalking your reading. If I do not have a Cancer Leo Cusper in this reading, you've got it in your rising placement, your Venus, or something major is being illuminated that connected to July and August for you. Maybe that was the last time you spoke to somebody. Or, um, <sighs> the strength card. The strength card to the hermit. Maybe this is, Maybe this is you really, really needing to tap into your inner strength here because for some of you Cancers, you may have been searching outside of you for your strength when you had that strength within you all along. And maybe you were expecting other people like friends, family, or romantic love interests to be your source of happiness or to be your source of worth. And spirits wanting you to know that you don't need other people to feel strong. You don't need other people to know that you're worthy. You don't need other people to know that you are worthy of love. That you're lovable just by being you. And not based on what you do for other people. Sometimes, Cancer, you can just be loved by people just by being you. Without having to do anything for somebody. I'm strongly getting a cancer that it feels like they have to always like do for someone or buy someone a gift or treat someone to a coffee or do this, do that to assure that person's going to be in your life, but you don't have to do that. Or that's your person. Someone here is coming in as someone that is overly generous, but not because of, you know, <sighs> I'm sorry, Cancer. This reading, and then there's the Queen of Cups and the Four of Cups. You're feeling really rejected by somebody right now after everything you've done for them. But it's a strong lesson that you need to do without expecting something in return. Okay, you're coming up as such a big-hearted person with that Queen of Cups. And you're coming up as someone that is just, you've got a heart of gold. All right? I love Cancers. All right, I love them. They they follow me around like crazy. I'm a, you know, I'm I don't know. <laughs> I think I've got like freaking gummy bears in my pockets because cancers seem to always find me. But I love them. You guys always have had a special place in my heart. And I'm strongly getting a cancer here that feels like there's nobody out there that really feels that way about you, but there are. All right. Not everyone expresses it though. Right? So you've got someone coming through this reading in November that does care about you, but doesn't show up the way that you expect. Maybe you guys have different love languages. Maybe, you know, maybe this person has been through some major hard shit and doesn't feel like they even deserve love. So maybe you guys are like mirroring each other in a sense where you both are scared to open up because you both have been burned. You both are possibly very generous people who have always been burned every time you were generous to someone. Can I get a card on that hanged man? The Four of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. A relationship is on pause, but it's there. There's a potential. Two people just need to make something work, Eight of Pentacles. And then I do have the Three of Cups, so I'm strongly getting that this is either someone that you've been dating for three months um, or been trying to date. This could be a friend where there's more feelings for each other. Could be someone that you work with with that Eight of Pentacles or met at work. Um, but there is something going on here. What is this Death card about for Cancer's career? What is this Death card about for Cancer's career? Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you like to book a private reading with me, Cancer, the link to my website is in the description box below. What is this Death card about? For Ace of Swords. There's a big change happening in your career and it's leading to an epiphany. It's leading to new ideas. It's leading to you know, a new you. It feels good, Cancer. The world. A chapter closing for a new one to begin after you release something, okay? You have a lot to look forward to in the up and coming month ahead with that sun. Something is being illuminated though. What is this justice card about? 
Seven of Pentacles. Someone's waiting on the truth. Someone's waiting on justice. Someone's waiting on someone to balance something out if it has been imbalanced all this time. And it could trigger a new beginning. Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Wands Cancer's advice this month? The Queen of Wands. All right, focus on your confidence. Focus on taking risks. Focus on just knowing that you are the shit. Anyone that comes up as the Queen of Wands, yet alone times two, is someone very attractive, someone very, um, very confident, and someone that is meant to lead and not follow. You need to remember that, Cancer. You're meant to be a leader, okay? So let me get a Whispers of the Ocean Oracle. Diving into new depths, breakthroughs that lead to new dimensions. Sorry, Cancer, I, I wanted this to be, a, you know, a reading about everything going on in your life, but I, I, I strongly have a Cancer that is dealing with their emotions this month, and you've got someone here that is in your life, either physically or energetically, that is wanting something resolved. Okay. Disengage from outcomes, number 48. Let go so you can open yourself to the highest love that you deserve. Find ways to release worry or any unresolved lack of forgiveness you might be holding on to. Whoa, that's pretty much similar to what I just said. Someone here may be harboring a grudge, resentment towards another person, or you both are, and it's making it very challenging for you guys to get something moving in the right direction. Someone here needs to disengage from the outcome and not expect anything. When you put your, when you put expectations out there, you set yourself up for failure if people don't you know exceed your expectations or meet them. But unless you guys have a verbal agreement, nobody owes anybody anything, right? On the bottom, life is better together. Seek assistance from your community, connect with family, friends, or others who will support you. It can be as simple as making a phone call. Cancer, you may be guided to make a phone call or someone's really wanting to call you but they're scared that you're not gonna pick up. There's a strong emphasis on a phone call, all right? And there, it feels like there has been a block in communication, whether someone blocked someone's number or someone is feeling energetically blocked to reach out in fear of not even getting a message in return. All right, so I hope this helps. You could be definitely dealing with another cancer. I've got so much cancer in this reading. I've got Aquarius here. I have Aries here strongly, strong Aries. Hello, Leo. And, um, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, but it could really be any zodiac sign. All right, later Gators, I love you.